sometimes the administration backs off when exposed. But consider tonight that not only is Donald Trump now forcing American taxpayers to fund the border wall, not Mexico, but he is also getting exposed on something that he ran on explicitly in 2016, the coal industry. But look at the facts. Since Donald Trump took office, 51 coal plants have now shut down. That's actually more than in the entire four years of Obama's first term. Eight coal companies have had to file for bankruptcy. And now, after Donald Trump claimed his priority would be bringing back coal, well, you can hear from the very own head of the coal miners union about how it's going. Coal is not back. Nobody saved the coal industry. Now that's a harsh fact and that's a harsh reality. And here's some more reality. This summer, coal miners actually came to Washington and they asked for explicit help to shore up their pensions, something that is important to every coal family. They are, of course, in trouble as the industry is hemorrhaged. And apparently, according to these reports, President Trump's response basically silenced. NBC News shows a report that he's not really dealing with this in any public way at all now that it's not a campaign slogan. This is a long ways from his earlier promises. My administration is putting an end to the war on coal. We are putting the coal miners back to work, just like I promised. Coal is coming back. For those miners, get ready, because you're going to be working your ass off. We are back. The coal industry is back. It turns out that actually restoring coal jobs is harder than pretending to do them. Just ask the actual coal miners. I'm going to fit in a break and